Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Strat Gamer here, providing you with new gaming content about Anno 1800 today. And today we're going to talk about a mod. Yes, not the classic game, but a mod that you can add to your game. And it's a mod that just got updated. It's the City Ornaments mod version 2 by After Dark and Mungal Mungan Steamer. Sorry, I'm pro obviously pronouncing it wrong, but I tried. I will definitely post the link to this mod in the description below. And again, to be clear, I have no credit to this mod. We have to thank After Dark, Dark One, and Mungan's tumor for it but I thought this mod is so amazing that we do need to give some marketing and advertising to it so that's why I'm doing this video and before we start please consider subscribing to this channel if you want to discover or master strategy games city building simulations like Anno that's exactly what I'll be covering in this channel Strat Gamer. so subscribe to never miss a new video and please don't hesitate to leave a comment below, share what you hope to learn in this video, a question that you still have, or anything else on your mind, maybe a request for me to do a new video, and I promise I will do my best to answer each and every one of you. Now, what are we going to cover in this video? Well, three main things. One, the overview of what is in the mod. Second, where to find all these items and elements inside the game and third i will show you the results when you use some of these so you can see how amazing it can be for your cities and lastly don't leave too early because i also have a few bonuses for you at the end okay let's get started okay let's get started and let's move to the cape So, what can you expect in this mode? Well, you can expect many new things like new streets, new plaza types, also tons of ornaments like flower beds, statues, many elements like this. But also everything you need to build a cemetery, everything you need to build a castle, a sort of equivalent of Mont Rushmore for Anno, which is amazing. Then something else that's quite amazing is many new marketplaces, which actually work. They, they provide things to your citizens. It's not just an ornament that's pretty. Then the Eiffel Tower, you can start building the Eiffel Tower in your city and many others. So now let's start covering these different elements. Where do you find them in the game? Okay, so the first one, we'll go into the Farmer tab to see the markets. So you still have your normal marketplace, but we are going to talk about it because there's a new, some new twist about it. And then next to it, you do have this new one, the market stalls. Which introduces around 15 new market stalls of different shapes. And they all function, they all bring food to your citizen as you can see i've started to build some of these so they are very small ones one tile like this one and again it is a real market of some a lot a bit bigger two tiles and some even larger and you can also mix them together right here i have several of them together what you do need to be careful is then they do require a road connection to be functioning so for example i will need to put it like this i think but then there's also something new with your normal marketplaces i'm hoping you i'm hoping you can recognize a normal one here and then we have two new ones this one which to me even seems really like one you'd see within the farmer's town. And then this one, which is a lot more advanced, maybe more for your engineers and investors. Even if, let's remember that you don't actually need one at that point. Now, how do you access 
these two or you actually just upgrade your normal market see I selected it press U to upgrade and if I press U to upgrade again I will get to the let's say investor one so this is the first element the marketplace and you find it again in the farmer tab now let's move to the worker place and you you also have to scroll to the end all of this is new or oh, some of it was part of the version one of this mod but all of it is from the mod and we have a lot here we have roads and plaza tiles you know some very nice one and we also have We also have channels, channels, water channels, you know, like uh, in Mbesa, but here you can build them anywhere, either in sort of a natural look or in more of a industrial look or a sort of palace look. And what's interesting is that they also do connect. You can connect them, look, then the water flows from one to the other. And then the last thing that's very interesting with this element is you don't have to just put one row. If you put several rows next together, they start to create a lake. Uh, and that can really create some beautiful elements. Now, second, statues. Many different statues and fountains. So here are the statues many of the fountains, so some that were in the game but other that are actually new. Also, here you have passages that you can put on top of roads, sort of introduce a neighborhood, for example, or your um, a zoo. And then two elements at the bottom, one is the cafe by the lake that you can see here. Some swans and everything. Very beautiful. Amazing. I will have you know that I'm playing here in, in very low quality uh, graphics. The lowest quality graphics. So if you, your computer and um, you know, your, your graphic card and your computer can handle a lot more, then obviously it will look even better. And then here, this one is a waterfall. I don't know how you got the idea, but <laughs> it is also very interesting. Now let's move to the third one. Many trees and flowers. I won't get into much detail, but obviously that can help you create really unique um, elements in your city. A few ornaments like the advertising board or some of the fences again to really create some unique scenes this one is very interesting in particular here you have everything you need to create a large cemetery you see it will be things looking like this you can have a large building, there's also the small tombstones. So you can build a big cemetery in your village. And then there's also elements at the bottom on horse riding, which was indeed at that time quite in vogue. You can see your horses and building and other elements to add to it next one fortress or castle i've built a very small one to show you what you can do you can put towers walls of different shapes and so you see straight ones round ones different towers that i've added and you can even add 
building. So there's those smaller houses here, here and here. Put some tiles inside and flower beds, statues. So you can create your own castle. And then lastly, here is a sort of agricultural elements if you want to add. So as you can see, many, many different elements. Now the next one we're going to talk about is the Eiffel Tower. And the Eiffel Tower needs to be unlocked. You unlock it in your World Fair. Let's click on it. With a sumptuous architectural exhibit. And then what's important is you need to select the refined architecture element, so the one in the middle. You don't have to unlock the last one. And that will give you the Eiffel Tower. Even if you have unlocked all of them, make sure that you select the refined architecture one. And here it is, the Eiffel Tower. Let's confirm and let's build it. You can find it in the Investor tab. At the end, see all your lectures, splanan and ornaments. Here it is. It does cost some money, but at this point in the game, you probably have all you need. And let's build it. It is big. now our city really could be called Paris. Now let's talk about a few bonuses of all of this. One is that many of these actually bring attractiveness to your city. It's not just to make it look good on the screen, but it actually increases your attractiveness. You can see this one, for example, plus two attractiveness. Trustiness is key in endgame, right? Especially if you have the DLC of the palace, where in your overview you can see how much your level of attractiveness you are, and each additional level will increase um, your default bonuses here, which is great, right? The town, the workforce, um, the visitors, productivity in the key one. Uh, the influence, many <laughs> things that we all wish we had more. That's the first bonus. The second is, do note that a few of those elements, and in particular I saw some of those market stall, only work if you have all of the DLCs, and in particular the one City of Light uh, DLC that I don't have at this point. And the last bonus is on many of these elements, you can also use the Shift V um, button to change the visual. And in particular, this is how you get the Mount Rushmore. I won't tell you which one. Uh, it is sort of your, your mission after this video to find which one of these elements you need to do Shift V to find the Mount Rushmore. Of course, if you really can't find it on your own, please drop me a comment below and I will really reveal this secret. Um, but you can do it really on many, many of these um, elements. And in particular, let me show you one. So this is uh, the fence that you can find here at the bottom. Let's do Shift V. It changes the shape 
of it and not just the look just for some other like this one let's take the gateway we shift v does change the look nicely including a christmas one <laughs> so if you want a christmas city put this everywhere okay this is it for this review of the city ornament mod which i think can really really help with, uh, make our city as beautiful and as different as we want if you like the video please hit the like button don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel and share any comments below if you have questions thoughts or requests for a new video i'd love to hear about it and i'll do my best to answer you